Wasabi, you guys. Let's work on the seventh problem for MIT's uh, 2022 integration B. It seems that we might have to do integration by parts. So if we let, oh, that is not a brush. If we let u equal x squared, then we get, if we let u equal x squared, we get du equal 2x. Then we would end up getting, well, this is x squared. U sine of u. So this is pretty much what we would get. Then we get we do integration by parts. Uh, sine negative cosine to sine. So then we get sine of u minus u cosine of u all over two. So our answer would be sine x square x square cosine x square all over 2 plus c. I think that is the correct answer. I can sort of take a peek at that. Oh, would you look at that? Oh my god, can this thing go down? Okay, we do that way, and that is correct. Noise. This one is just u substitution. I would just do u substitution, and then uh, inverse tanch. Yeah, so it would be like inverse tanch x square. No, no, no. I think it would be like a half inverse tanch x square. Uh, this is secant. Hyperbolic secant square. I think that's just tanch. I might be wrong. Uh, this is hmm interesting. Let me. Just do that. This looks like reverse this might be reverse derivative let me let me write down everything negative e uh huh really interesting mm, e to the power of negative x minus wait this could i am literally stuck Wow, I don't even know. e to the x of 1 minus e to the negative x. Huh. What do I do? I don't even know. <laughs> That's, this is, now, this is just strange. What the hell? Hmm. This, if I let, I could go like e to the x minus 1, but then I have e to the x here. Hmm. If I have another e to the x? No, I don't want to do that. Huh. This is interesting. I, I've i never seen this before. For some reason, I can't think of... Okay, well, I'm going to do... Uh, from what I learned from black pen, red pen, I think. No, no, I don't think it was from black pen, red pen. I saw it somewhere. But I we're going to let this equal i, because obviously this is not integrable. So i is equal to e to the e to the x dx. Okay. Now let's let's pay attention let's pay attention to this right e to the negative x and then well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do I'm gonna derive this because obviously I cannot integrate that 
and then integrate this, and then I get e negative x here minus e to e to the x e to the x here. Oh, would you look at this? This is equal to uh, i. This is pretty much i, I think. So pretty much this is equal to. So I'm sorry. This integral here is equal to negative. Oh, technically positive e to the negative x e to the e to the x, and then uh, minus minus. So this is also plus the integral of e to the e to the x dx, and this is equal. I'm sorry, no, no. This is this is also with with i as well, and so this is equal to. Wait a minute. They don't cancel out. Wait. They don't cancel out. Oh no 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 no! Oh my god! Uh, this is supposed to be minus. These these two when they multiply they become positive, but with this it becomes negative. So then this is e to the x. Cool. And then we have e to the e to the x here. So so this minus this they cancel out. So the answer should just be e to the e to the x e to the negative x plus c. And it equals to that? Really? That's interesting. Oh, crap. That's that's a definite bound. I, okay. I am... Oh my god. The, mon the monstrosity. Okay, so... e to, e to the x. e to the negative x. So from 1 to 0, this is equal to e to the e minus 1, <laughs> minus, and then e to the uh, e 1, yeah, so then I get e to the minus 1 minus e, this is my answer. And if we check, we can see that this Oh, okay. I guess you can use log two, tanch. Okay, so I was I was right. Yeah, I I got it right. Cool, awesome. Oh, what what am I doing? I can just control A. All right. Uh, I think I might be able to do. Oh wait, but then there's twenty of them. That looks nasty. I honestly don't know how to do that one. I I am bad with limits. That's tedious. You're just gonna have to sort of, uh, you're gonna have to sort just sort of, uh, uh, just it's it's a tedious process. Let u equal one minus root x, or you might let u equal the whole thing and then do some advanced u substitution. Uh, I might, you know what? I'll I'll let this be my last integral. Let's let's go through this. Let's. If if you're gonna go through this hell hole, I'll go I'll go through it with you, and that's that is the uh, mission statement of being a math professor. Okay, well, let u equal the whole thing because I want to be safe than sorry. Then du is equal to two u because that's just how most roots are. So two u, and then the derivative of that would be the derivative of the inside is negative 1 over 2 root x and the square root of x is equal to so u square 1 minus root to square root of x so then this is oh i could just write it like here so this is just negative 1 for for u uh 1 minus u square so this is equal to if I get rid of the negative, this is u squared minus 1 for u, du. Okay, well in that case, we get, uh, if I plug in 1, this is 0. Okay, maybe I do, maybe I do want to take the, okay, maybe I want to keep the negative. Okay, well in that case, 
1 to 0, we have a negative, we have negative uh, 4u, u square minus 1. I'll just, I'll just take the negative, I don't think it'll matter. I'll, I'll just keep it as u squared minus 1. Then, uh, du, no, 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 uh, I almost forgot. Oh, wait, wait, no, that should be, this should be u squared, then du, because of this uh, u. Okay. Then this is equal to 0 to 1. This is actually not as bad as I thought. We get 4u squared minus 4u to the power of 4 du. I'll let you guys do this part. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, this is, I, I promise you it's because I don't have enough space. So, uh, yeah, I, I love you guys. Uh, I'll, I'll let you get to the answer by yourself on that part. Wasabi, you guys. Uh, as you can see, the next integral does not look pretty. So I, um, yeah, no, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to skip that one. Uh, this one, I think this might have some cancellation. So let's try it because it looks interesting. If it if it if it becomes ugly, I'll retreat. Okay. And and I, I think I think every every natural mathematician does that. Okay. So this becomes sine of x cosine of sine of x. I'll just do it like that. Plus uh cosine of x sine of sine of x and then minus we have a minus sine of x cosine of sine of x minus cosine of x sine of sine of sine of x And so now this simplifies to, well, we can see, oh, okay, so this cancels out, and then these two, okay, so then we have 2 cosine of x, sine of sine of x, and then if you let u equal sine of x, this becomes uh, 2, 2 sine of u, and then this becomes negative 2 cosine of u, and so the answer would just be negative 2 cosine of sine of x plus c. I think that's the correct answer. So, very, very cool cancellation. This is a bit tricky. Uh, I can, I'm pretty sure that is a reverse product rule. Reverse product rule. Secant. Yeah, I think they just got rid of the constants. So that's that's the hardest part is you have to be aware of the the con the coefficients. But that tangent tangent secant. Yeah, that that is reverse. That's 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 reverse derivative. Reverse uh, reverse product rule. Um. What is this? I forgot how to do this integral. So let's, uh, hmm. This looks like, I think I did this by integration by parts. Could be wrong. Because, so the reason why I want to do integration by parts on this is because if I integrate this, this is just x ln of x. If I derive this, this becomes ln of x of x. Aha! Uh -huh. Awesome! This and that, this becomes the integral of, I'm sorry, integral of 1. <laughs> and then the rest is this and this. Okay, so then the answer is just x ln of x, uh, ln of ln of x. 
minus x. And that would be the answer for here. Awesome.